So you can see it working already. All that dirt getting worked off. Hey there, Internet Keev here, and welcome to the Cars with Keev YouTube channel. Now this episode, Bleach White, or Blesh White, however you want to say it. It's made by Black Magic. It's probably one of the best tire cleaners out there. It used to be even better years ago when it was made by a company called Wesley's. Now I've been using this for about 20 years now. You see, I buy it in bulk and I fill up a, a bottle. So I don't have one of the original bottles, but there'll be links below for this product. And I used to do a lot of off-roading. I had a Nissan uh, 4x4 with off-road tires. And I had a Land Rover with off-road tires. And when it came back from that red clay mud, it was hard to get off. And this was the only product that could do it with really little to no effort whatsoever. Really didn't even have to brush it in. It just worked really well. I'll show you how I currently use this, which I don't use it as much anymore. It's a very specific application, rubber only. And I'll show you how I don't get it on my wheels. And also, I use it for my rubber formats in my BMW. It works awesome for that. So let's get right into the video. As always, working with chemicals to make sure that you protect your hands, especially this chemical, because this is definitely an acidic one. Now you can use many materials to keep this product off of your wheels and other products as well. Uh, tire foam spray, that kind of stuff. You don't want it on your wheels, obviously, you know, you need something to stop it. So I just use an old license plate. Now you can use a piece of cardboard or whatever, because this, but this bends and stays in form. I tape the edge so I don't scratch the wheels. And then it just fits perfectly in that groove. Now this this is my wife's minivan, so this these don't get cleaned very often. So this is a great way to show how well it cleans. Now this is a double pump sprayer from Agrifab. I've been trying these out for a while. I have not done a video on them, but there's a link in the description below. I'm still experimenting with them and which chemicals be best with this because some actually don't work as well as others. So we'll start by spraying. Let me get you a close up. So you can see it working already. All that dirt getting worked off. This stuff just works really well. I mean, I barely, rarely even have to brush it. Now we're just gonna let that work off for a little bit. Uh, don't let it dry, but let it get close and then we'll uh, wipe it off with a microfiber. That's one way of doing it. You could also just completely rinse it off. All right, so it's worked its way in. It's drying uh, almost in a few spots, but a uh, shout out to uh, Lickle Molly who gave me some uh, the microfibers that they use for their marketing. We're gonna use this to wipe off this. And now we'll rinse off. You can tell the tire already how much cleaner it is, how much dirt we got off of it. If it's really dirty, we'll do one more application. Um, but if you're trying to get rid of tire shine or anything, this is a great way. So let's go ahead and rinse it off. Another way to help clean uh, your tires a lot quicker is usually I always use a 40 degree to clean the car with, but I would do the wheels. I'm using a 25 degree. That allows the stream very tight to the tire and I can keep it on the tire without getting onto the wheel and off. It allows me to get, a, a, you know, project the stream exactly where I want it to, to get it nice and rinsed off. So as a test to see how, how dirty it still is as it's wet, I use that same microfiber on one of the cleaner sides and I'll do a wipe around to see how much dirt I'm still gonna pull off just with the water. As you can see, it's just discolored from being wet. A lot of this dirt was still there. There's a little bit here, but we see how much dirt we got off that. That's just amazing. Now we're gonna let that tire dry and I'm going to move over to my rubber mats. Now you would think somebody who cleans their car on the outside as much as I do would have the interior clean, but that's not necessarily the case. My rubber mats get pretty dirty. So you can see how much product I can get here with this double pump sprayer. We're waiting for that to work off of those rubber mats. As you can see on the tire, it's drying off. Look how clean that got. And if you like that natural tire look, this is great. And obviously this is a tire that's been beat on a lot. It's probably got 30,000 miles on it or so from my wife's minivan. And beat up, I don't wash it very often, but it's, it's straight rubber right now. Just awesome. Okay, this has been sitting for about five minutes or so. I just wanna show you a little bit how much dirt actually comes out. Look at how nasty yellow is. Just gross. All 
All right, so there it is, nice and clean. We'll wait for it to dry off so you can see the end result. Okay, so I pulled my wife's fan out of the shade so you can see how dirty the back tire is versus the front tire. See how much cleaner that is. You can really tell the difference when you look like that. We're pretty much completely dried out as you can see how much cleaner this mat is now. Now obviously this is rubber that gets touched by shoes constantly, rubbed on. It's never going to look brand new, just like the tires. I got the driver's side over here as well. I actually did that first, but I forgot to hit record. YouTube life, you know, so you have to do it again. And uh, here they are. That's the end result. Just a great product. Well, that worked out great, didn't it? Like I said, this is a great product. Uh, and using just a license plate to curve around and protect that wheel is great. Works on the rubber mats just as good. Like I said, only rubber, no painted surfaces. Definitely not aluminum or magnesium wheels. You don't want to get on those. Um, you don't want to get on your glass or anything. You don't want it to dry either. You want it to be nice and wet. So like I said, it's, a, it's an application specific uh, product, but it does work. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey there, internet. Hey there, internet. Oh my God. Which I don't use it as much as more to keep the stuff off. Now you could use many materials to keep. So that's where the, uh, now I'm using a double pump sprayer. That's basically where the, uh, I'm using a, I like to wipe it off on the microfiber. But if it's, my rubber formats, which I love. All right, so that's it for this episode. All right, so that's it for the, all right, so that's it for this. Oh my God. Now you would think somebody who watches their, now you would think somebody who washes their car as much as I...